Hello and welcome to another Brickwright video and this video is about building these steps. So here's the plan. What we're going to do, customer has requested what they want. They want this wall exaggerated to curve around that way and this one to follow suit. But they just want an ever so slight twist in it, not to make it straight. So what I'm going to do, so I've got this set up now. From here, out level, there, I'm going to put concrete in. My brickwork in here to that. And before I get to the banking where it joins, I'm going to step up the, um, the foundation. Everyone, I want to learn how to get your mix all set up ready for you. Um, so I've got all in sand to you, so this is for our concrete and stuff. And then for the brick laying, I've got normal sand here with a mixer set up in the middle, so I've got everything around me, and we're all good to go. I'll stick you on a time lapse and you can watch us do it. Right, so a little update for you, what we do, we build into the banking and then when it runs out of, of uh, concrete, you can see the concrete in here, look. So when we get to this section now, we'll overlap the concrete. I'm going to work our steps, so our risers are two quarters of bricks, 150 mil, six inches, and then our treads, which for those who don't know, the bit you stand on, from there to there is 450 mil. So we got that set out. So you just build these up higher than your steps, rack them back, and then when your steps are in, you can have a chat with your client, exactly how high they want the wall, where they want the wall, and then you can fill all our in and a related date with brick on edge. This is why we're calling this the flooded masterpiece, although this is not a masterpiece right now because all the water's come down the bank in. It's, it's ripped through there, look. It's come through and we into this. It's not giving it easy, Jay, is it? I tell you all right, these meteorologists, they go, how can you get it so bloody wrong all the time? It infuriates me. We couldn't finish this before Christmas. I had COVID all over Christmas, myself and my family. We put this concrete in up here, look, um, up there, and likewise over this side up here. And we put this land drain in here. So any water that comes down this section goes into that land drain and out. That's where we are with it so far is it's been pouring our rain it's been killing us the flooded masterpiece is living up to its name so we got this going on here look that this is the uh, gazebo we got set up we've got 25 mile an hour wind so it's set up we'll get underneath there we'll get going hopefully we and the gazebo don't bloody blow away so what we're doing now look filling the risers up you can fill the risers up with like a scalping or a chipping as long as it's compacted down but these steps are so wet show them in there free We've got water coming in here like there's no tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do, I've put a semi-dry mix of concrete in here. And all we're doing is just getting that in roughly to where we want it. And then the fattest person on site, that's Jay, not me, 
just get in there then and just tamp it all down with all of my nine stone Fraser. <laughs> That's each leg that is nine stone. Chuck all that in there like that. Get the fat guy in. Tamp it all down and then we wait for another mix. We fill that up. We'll bail that out. We'll Gareth bail that out. We've got concrete right up to the top of there, fill the whole thing up with concrete and then every rise is full of concrete and then we haven't got to worry of water filling up where the scalpings would be and it's a better job so we'll crack on with it. That's the weather we're dealing with. Pouring down with bloody rain. Yet again. But we're doing alright. Persevering is the word I think. Right, Frey, nice and dry. Nice and dry, Jay. Two different forecasts, same day. The one on the left says showers, and this one here says completely different. Build all these, um, all these treads in now, all those with concrete. So all these are 450. So we got a landing. So we got this landing, and we're going to be putting the brickwork further back here. We made this bigger because the risers were starting to come above the um, uh, the ground level outside of it. So today's job is to start taking brickwork up here uh, and up this side and creating the, the second level of it. has been fantastic again cheering us up the sun's out we've got bacon butties what more can you ask for foundations in now for the next four risers so what we've been doing we've been using this piece of batten so this piece of batten goes in between there like that so that dictates the width of the step so what I've done is I've just used that periodically from start to finish all the way up and that dictates my one meter 350 I think it was for the width so that's that you can use that all the way up safe going back before your tape measure and then we've got this little bad boy so this bit of batten is for the riser so every 450 you can put your, your piece of batten on the previous step on the riser and just put a mark on the side of the wall. That's that one. So like really, really quick and useful to have. And then this one, I think, is probably the best one in my mind. I've showed you this before. If you put that, save you going back and forth your tape measure or save you getting a brick and putting your brick on there to stretch your bond between the two internal and external cores. You can, you can get this and you can put that on there and you can put it on the side and level it all up. Steps are in. That's how that little landing worked out there, look. Up the top here you've got one, two, three, four and then the landing. So if we go up onto the landing now, it's just this section is wider 
and then you've got one, two, three, four. So it's right in the middle. So I think once we get all our, so Monday now, get all this, all the concrete in here and start getting all this racking back filled in with a brick on edge where it's got to go. There we are, a new week, new weather. And my eyes are squinting because the sun's out and it's in my face and it's absolutely fantastic for a change. So that's in, all job done. So those three steps there, or four, these ones here, all concreted up. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just get a little bit short, we've got about 30 bricks left, so we're going to get this, go up to the uh, to the brickyard up in Caffilly, uh and restock on the bricks and get some for the, just to finish this off and get the brick on edge on. So we're outside Greg's, and we would like to say thank you very much to Mr John Ward. Over Christmas, John sent us down a gift voucher um, to spend in Greg's to buy us all a breakfast. So we've got a breakfast, it's all lined up, all ready to eat, so what have we got to say boys? Thank you, John. Thank you Thank very you, much, John. John. Very much appreciated, mate. And uh, take care of yourself. I hope you fix your van. Cheers. There we are. If anyone's feeling cold in the morning, Jay's come up with an idea to keep you warm. There's no doubt on this planet that he's warm, but he looks like an absolute tit. <laughs> Brick and edge done up there. Just got this side to do now, this bit here. We couldn't start this morning until what time was it jay we didn't get going until after dinner on this did we because of the uh of the the temperature yeah look you can see clearly it is what three degrees just under yeah about three one two three just under four degrees actually so we're all right so we'll have to get smash these in now and get the hessian get a jointed cover up and then the uh the steps are done so almost there and look at that, blue sky. How nice is that for a change of being spoiled? So after that snow yesterday, we couldn't come in. We're in again today. It's minus 1.5. We're going home again. It's too cold, but the steps are done. There we are. That's the picture from the top. My landing worked out absolutely perfectly. We had the client out to see what height they wanted the brick on edge. They're happy. So that's all the job around there. That's the curve wall going into that bit. Look, we've got all this now. It's a patio all in here so that's the uh that's the next bit so if you enjoyed this video keep watching keep subscribing more videos to come see you on the next one cheers <laughs>